Hello, kinetic energy. What is kinetic energy? Well, we mentioned it in video one. It's the energy of motion. So, if an object is motion, is uh, undergoing motion or moving, it will have kinetic energy. So, a stationary object has no kinetic energy. The formula for kinetic energy is E k equals half m v squared. So your kinetic energy, because it's energy, it's in joules, and your mass standard units is in kilograms, and your velocity will be in meters per second. So the work done equals the change in kinetic energy. So this formula isn't on your information sheet, but if you can work out the change in kinetic energy, you can work out the work done, because this is energy, and this is energy, so Sometimes when we're looking at what sort of work is being done, it's a change in kinetic energy. So usually it involves a change in velocity. How much kinetic energy does a 60 kilogram runner moving at 9 meters per second have? Putting that into the formula, EK equals half mv squared. Don't worry about the units they put in here. We don't generally. I. I don't recommend that you put units in. This is from, I think, a Victorian book where they get all very serious about units. Just recognize that it's kinetic energy, so it's going to be in joules. And you can do that on your calculator. Don't forget the square. A lot of students like to forget the square. So let's have another one. Calculate the kinetic energy of a 6 kilogram bowling ball rolling at 5 meters per second. EK equals half mv squared. Put the numbers in, 75 joules. Slightly more difficult question. Got a bit more noise in it. A 520 kilogram rocket sled at rest is propelled along the ice by an engine developing a constant thrust of 12,000 newtons. Assuming all the work goes into motion, calculate its velocity after 40 meters. So if we looked at this, we've got a mass. We're told that it's at rest. It has constant thrust of, uh, that would be F. And assuming all the work, that's W, goes into motion, calculate its velocity, V, after 40 meters, S. So we've got a whole lot of things here. So if we looked up our formula sheet, we would see that we've got lots of formulas with F in it, but they don't have all this. We've got formulas with M in it, we've got formulas with S in it. And, but there's no formula that has all those things or enough of them to work out one or the other. So what we have to do is actually do a two-step solution and that's what they do in the work solutions. So the first thing is to work out the work and the work that's being done is the force times the distance and that's how much work is being done. Because we ask yourself what is the work doing? Well the work is doing a change in velocity. Another way of thinking about it is what is the force doing? Well the force is changing motion. So the force is doing work. What's the work? It's changing the motion, uh, applying a force over a distance and we get that many joules. Once we get that though, that work is changing the kinetic energy. So we can say Ek equals 480,000 joules. From there we can say that Ek equals half mv squared. We can solve and we can find v by rearranging it and solving it and we get our answer for v. Now did we have to use u at all? No. It's just a bit of noise. Just to confuse you. Alright? So just look out for questions that involve more than one step. Um, sometimes when we actually give questions in tests, it might be a part A and then a part B. Sometimes they don't if they want it to be a little bit harder. So you've got these questions to have a go at doing. 
uh, in your workbook and in the next video we'll learn all about potential energy. See ya!